To the second day now, the Aaron Dean trial focused on what the former officer and his partner knew as they were approaching a Tatiana Jefferson's home. He's on trial for murder for shooting and killing Jefferson back in the fall of 2019. Our Caroline Vandergriff tonight to walk us through the key moments from today's testimony. Today's witnesses really took the jury back to that fateful October night and what was going through the minds of the neighbor who made that first call to police, the call taker who put it into the system, and the officers who responded. When you looked inside the house, you saw it appeared to be ransacked, correct? Yes, so at that point, what were you thinking was going on in your mind? Fort Worth police officer Carol Darch was with Aaron Dean the night he shot a Tatiana Jefferson. She spent about four hours on the stand Tuesday explaining why they acted how they did. We're in the front door of the been open since 10 o'clock. I haven't seen anybody moving around. Neighbor James Smith called the non-emergency police line around 2 in the morning when he noticed the home's front and side doors were open with the lights on. I wasn't really sure what was going on. It, wasn't, it didn't appear to be an emergency. But it was entered into the system as a priority two open structure call because of the information he gave. Smith says he waited on the front stoop of his sister's house nearby for the police to come and saw two silhouettes head towards the house. He testified he didn't realize they were officers or that Jefferson had been killed until after the shooting. It was devastating. Officer Birch said they didn't identify themselves as police to avoid scaring off the burglary suspect they thought might be inside the home. The state did get her to admit she and Dean didn't follow the order of protocols for an open structure call, like guarding the open doors or calling the homeowners. In a high stress situation, it's not, you rely back to your muscle memory. The jury watched Dean's body cam footage of what happened for the first time. Officer Darch testified she doesn't know exactly what Dean or Jefferson saw in the moments that led up to the shooting. Put your hands up. Show me your hands. Up. But reiterated this. You meet deadly force with deadly force, and you're trained to stop the threat. The trial is expected to resume here tomorrow at 9 a.m. We're not sure exactly who the first witness will be, but their testimony is expected to be lengthy. In Fort Worth, I'm Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News.